Welcome back. Welcome back to part two. Yes, it is another day. The following day, different <laughs> shirts. <laughs> yes, it is, it is Wednesday today. It is. Um, I've let that dry overnight. I gave it a little blast over with the heat gun, as you saw, but I think it's better to leave it overnight. So I'm now going to put some colour on. I'm really looking forward to this. Some more vibrant colours. Oh, yes, some more vibrant colours. What was the one we put on already? It was sandstone, I think it was called. Sand, it was sandstone, yeah, just looking sandstone. down there <laughs> in the box. Yeah, it was sandstone. So I'm now going to apply some greens, a little bit of blue and oranges. Ochres. Ochres and, and that kind of And thing. such like. So, uh, Warms. Yes. Whams. Yeah, so let's get cracking and get some colour on that uh, that canvas. I'm actually truly amazed. I am absolutely truly amazed. You see? It looks like old plaster. Yeah. Doesn't Look it? Look at that. Yeah. So, what colours are you going to go for now? I don't know. I think I'm burning the carpet. <laughs> Have you? No, I haven't. It just smells like I've burnt the carpet. <laughs> Don't worry, it's probably just this that's warm. I think it's just that the nozzle of the hot thing. Yeah, the hot thing. Yeah, the hot thing. Okay, so... so what, what colours do you fancy doing next? Um, uh, we've got neutral brown on. Yeah, so, so we go for a turquoise, do you think? Well, I wouldn't go that far just yet. Okay. Right, what about adding a little bit of warmth in there? So how about some of the yellow ochre? Yeah. Now, bearing in mind... Like we've already said, these are water reactive. Yeah. So wherever you spray the yellow ochre now, it's going to react with the brown that's already on there. Right, so I have to be careful it doesn't become muddy. Well, it's going right? to become muddy anyway because you've got brown on. Right. Right. So, so that's it. So, so I'm pick, thinking what I'm going to do right. is spray from this side well, down. Pick specific places to spray. Well, I need to get some colour on here, don't I? No, not really. Yeah, because it's going in a frame and I want it to look... That's all got lovely runs on okay, it. Okay, so we'll spray that? some on the, on the oh, side. Hang on, or should I just spray this again and dry it? It's entirely up to you. I think I've just answered my question. Right. That's it. So you, you're going to dry that off now? I was going to dry this off. Right. So, one second. We'll be back in a minute. All right, now that's dry. So I've done those sides, because I want it to look vintage -y. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so yellow oaker next. Yeah, but so we're, we're going on specific areas, aren't we? Right, well, think about your composition zones. Yeah, well, I'm thinking that would be very quite turquoisey, the two All bulks. Right. So perhaps your yellow ochre needs to come this way. So across yeah. that sort of direction. And then when you do your turquoise, those areas across where it crosses there are going yeah. to turn kind of greenish. All right, so... You've got to tip get, it, get it Get it to work first. That's it. Tip it. Oh, yeah. That's nice, that, because you've got a... It's warmer. A warmer it's colour. Warmer. Okay. Right, dry again. Dry again. Yeah. Dry again. already warming up isn't it it is we put a, just a little bit of orange on yep which is still a so if i wet. tip that that'll run down it will but i wouldn't i'd leave it leave it as it is yeah. okay so we want to add some green okay well you've got lime green and sea green lime green is more of a yellowy green do we start with a lime do you think or do we go straight into sea green are you going across that way i'm going across that way because we've I got would, we've got I, two i would go lime green first lime green sea first. green's darker Okay. Right, so remember how we did the last one? Yep. So that's it. Piece of paper and. Get it to work first. Oh! That's just. Pop. The ends just pop straight yeah, out! It's alright, just wants pushing back in again. Do you? I know. These, I've had these for years. I'll and have to change them. Have to and change he gives it to me and I make a mess of it. I haven't used these for a while, so. You swap it for sea green. Yeah, and then we'll just have to clean. Clean the nozzles we'll out. Have, yeah, clean the nozzles out. I just love the way you get the. I'll just show the camera a bit closer. Yeah. So you get that. It just looks like old alabaster that's been left. There you go. To, to uh, sort of vintage-ify. Vintage yeah. So you're going that way, aren't you? Yeah. Ah. Why don't you turn it uh -huh. that way yeah. so you can go that way? You see the lovely kind of like greeny tinges you get yes. now? Go right the way across. 
obviously I wasn't going to chip in. No, no, I'm, I'm glad you are because you give me give me direction. Okay, are you okay. happy with that green? I am. Right, so do a bit of drying. Do a bit of drying then. So you're okay to go, but I would do a couple of spritzes. A couple of spritzes on. This is the sea green. This yeah. is the darker green. Yeah. Just keep going until it goes. There you go. Oh yeah. Right. So once I'll again. Turn. So you're gonna go that way across. Oh. 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 Again. 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 A bit more in the middle. And again in the middle. Oh. Have a look. Yes. Try again. It's all stop dry, isn't it? Dry, stop, dry, stop. Oh, yeah. 90% drying time. I know it's not dry, but this bit looks like cabbage leaf porcelain. <laughs> it does look. It does. You're right. Majolica wear. Yes. Mike just said to me, you're enjoying this. I said, I am. Apart from the hurty. <laughs> I've done a hurty. Right, you, so. You've surprised yourself, haven't I you? I have. I love this. Okay, turquoise. I hope you're enjoying this at home. Let me know in the co comments below. And if you're not, <laughs> don't say anything. If you, if you haven't got anything it's nice, nice to say. say. Don't say anything at all. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put the turquoise on yeah. the wings. Just so is it just a quick... A gentle. But, but move. That's enough. What do you think? There we are. <laughs> oh, it's all that they all look metallic again. Are you happy? Very, very happy. Okay, so. Hang on, we're just looking at the detail. <laughs> I love, love the way the colours sits and mixes. Mm. I mean, look, look at, at that blend. That. The look at the blend. From the blue through to the green. But, with, the but with a brown sepia undertone. Yeah, that's why you do the sandstone first. Ah. Right, so okay. you want to do what we'll call the frosting technique now, don't you? But we cannot use gesso because it will pull the colour. The colour off. Right. I've so gesso something. is water based, the colours are water based. So if you want to do the frosting, you need to use something which is the opposite. Oh, this is, is this the Alchemy Wax from Finnebar? It is, but this is a white one. Oh. So because it's wax, it's obviously oil-based, yeah. wax-based, it's not going to reactivate any of the colour. Okay. In theory, it shouldn't. Okay, so we just put a little bit on the mat. Right, so the choice, yeah, squeeze them out. Tell me when. Yeah, I'll do. Okay. You know, we'll add some more later. Right, so the choice mm -hmm. that you've got is either you can load some up on your brush and then dry brush, mm -hmm. all right, or you can just add some onto your finger. No, because I've got a poorly finger. <sighs> so you're just going to milk this one forever now, aren't you? Oh, well, a couple right. of days at least. So, there you go. So, and I'm just going to kiss the surface, That's aren't it, I? Just like that. Try and keep the brush as horizontal as you can. Just light brush strokes, that's it. If you put too much on, can you get it off? I, can you just rub, I suppose it just rubs off, it's like... It's wax. Yeah, I don't yeah. put a lot on, so I love the things, that they, I love the colour we've got. Yeah, so just pick out the, the upper detail. You're going... Am I sorry? Yeah, you, you, you go in too far at an angle. Right. When you do that, you're going to go into all the detail. I am, so I've got to keep it flat, so yeah. like... Which is why sometimes it's easier just to put it on with your finger. Right, okay. Just lightly. There you go. Just just over the top. <laughs> so whenever I do this sort of thing, I always end up using my middle finger. And I always get told off. Why? Because I'm using my middle finger. What's wrong with using the middle finger? I'm doing that to the camera. <gasps> Naughty. I know. Just little bits. Yeah. Doesn't want to be too much, does it? Because it'll just look all no. a bit too flat. Yeah, don't, don't be too worried about getting plenty of the wax on your finger. You can always rub it into the palm of your hand and then do it. You can always clean it off. It comes off with alcohol. Get us a drink then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Make mine a vodka. Oh yeah. I'll see, yeah. 
So theoretically, see, you see, it shouldn't activate the colour underneath. You it don't, stay. Like you say, you don't need a lot, do you? No. Just, just kissing the surface. Yeah. It is easy with your finger. Yeah. Um, it, it's just, oh. like, it's just like the grass oh. this morning. We had our first frost this morning. We did. First frost. Well, actually, not the first frost of the year. First frost of winter. Yes. This morning. I'm getting cramp in my legs. Sorry. Ow. No, it's my fault, not yours. Yeah. Don't want to put too much on a little bit just there. Yep. You can kind of judge the pressure once you actually start going, and you work against. So you just kiss in the surface, the raised areas, just to pick out that detail. Like that? With the yeah, but don't, don't rub too hard because no. you may inadvertently just rub the colour. I mean, it is subtle. And it wants to be though, doesn't it? Mm. I don't think I want to put a lot more on there, Mike, to be honest. I love the colours we've got. I think that's enough. I think there's a bit too much of there though. There we are. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. Oh, a... Sorry. I'm positive. I think too much is not, it's not, oh, no, I think that's perfect. So you've not got any on there? I've got a little bit on there, just on the ends of the flowers, look. It's on the very edges. I don't want any more on there. I think it'll if, spoil if it. If you're happy. I'm happy. I think that'll spoil it if I put any more on. Okay. So, so what, I'm gonna do, what I'm going to do is going to let all this dry for an hour or so. And I'm going to give it a, a light spray varnish. Okay. Before you mount it in your frame. Before I mount it in the frame. But you've got to work on the frame. Would you bring the frame across, well, Mike, please? Do you want me to move this out the way Would so you it's please? drying? Thank you so much. Yeah, we've got the frame to go with it. And the but frame. It needs a little bit of attention. It does. So, the frame we've got. Oh. <laughs> I've got a furry plaster now covered in white wax. So it's a box frame. Mm -hmm. Only just fits the screen. Could you just zoom out a little for uh, me? I'll we'll try. try. Um, w for wider, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. That's just the loop from the hot, from the dry thing. So I've got a nice black frame, and Mike has been kind enough. Look at that. He's lovely. To fasten the frame, the back onto the back of the frame, so we can use it as a box yeah, frame. Yeah. The, the back actually came further. Um, into the frame, um, but we actually wanted it deeper down, didn't we? Yeah, so we did. I kind of um, adjusted it slightly. So the the box frame sits into that. Yeah. So I need to paint all this black. Yes. Because I want it, uh, but you can also have it at an angle or flat on the wall, which fits the right way up. Yeah. So just need some uh, paint, and I'll be back with you in a well, second. Yeah. Okay. So we need to get the black dress out, and we need to get those brushes cleaned the, up, don't we? The brushes are clean. They're in the they're in the in the, in the bathroom. Okay. You're that eager to get going, aren't you? You forgot to press record. I did, I did forget to press record. Let's get that over there. Yeah, just a coat of black just so in the, in the, to give it a... Just to dull it down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I don't, don't need to be able to see the backing. Yeah, I'm using just, uh, indigo blue gesso again. Yes. There we go. I have got a pot of uh, Dina Wakely black gesso somewhere. I've no idea where it went. Unless I've used it all and forgotten about it. I bought you some, didn't I? About Christmas about two years ago. Oh, it's it? Christmas two years ago. There we go. Right, so obviously you're just going to paint this black, aren't you? So yeah, not going to do Nothing to else. see here. No. So we'll be back when you've done. We will. So I'm going to give it a light varnish now, a gloss varnish. I wasn't overly keen of the white that I put on, so I've taken a little bit off, or rather Mike's taken a bit off for me. Hmm. So I'm going to give it a, a blast over with some gloss varnish to really give that colour some lift. So we'll do it in the garage, so follow me. Okay, the frame is drying now. The frame it? is drying, yeah, that is that is ready to go in, but I want to get the varnish on in the garage. Can't spray it in the house, so I'll all be like, woo! <laughs> or maybe we should. Okay, so we're now outside in the garage. And it's I'm cold. It's cold, very cold. So I'm going to use some spray varnish, gloss varnish I've just purchased. We've used this before and it's very good stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's uh, give it a go. Nice and even, even coats. See, straight away you can see the difference. 
Leave that to dry for a minute or two. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> oh, cool. And with my magic vanish, it's time for coat two. <laughs> Lay that down, and that, that's set, and I think that... Back in, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. A quarter of an hour. <laughs> when you brought me from the hospital. <coughs> okay, so, the second coat of varnish is now dried. Ian won't use the hot glue gun now, because he's terrified. Not terrified, just wary. <laughs> just want to show you the shine. You know we spoke about it being Victorian Majolica wear before, like porcelain. <laughs> Now it's very, very much. Yeah, unfortunately the camera um, obviously is reflecting the light because it's shiny, it's reflecting Look the light. Look at so that. But there is a nice shine to it. Beautiful. Which I'm hoping the um, the photographs might pick it up better rather than the I camera. think they will. So. So we're going to use the hot glue gun to attach the, fray, the canvas to the yeah. inside of the frame. I'm just going to turn that over. There we are. I've got my frame which I've already done. Yep, which you've already seen. So Mike, Mike's going to put the hot glue. I'm going to put it on the inside of the staples so it doesn't run. So we're going to go. I've not recovered from yesterday yet. No, you haven't, have you? Like I said, terrified. Wary. Lovely. Oh, it's not me. Yeah. Made a naughty sound. Just move the um. Yeah, out the way. It. Right. Right. So you should okay. have plenty of time. That's it. Thank you for that. Now. Right. I am not rushing. No. Because when I rush, I will drop it on my hands, and I am not going through that pain okay, again. So you're going to stand up and do it. Yeah. Please excuse it if I put my head on the <laughs> in the shot. Look. That's it. <laughs> spot on. I think it's spot on anyway. Yep. Let's just give it a and little press down. It's not gonna go anywhere now. How lovely does that look? Look, we can't see that, but I can see it and it looks <laughs> lovely and that's all that matters really. So yeah, so it's all in now as you'll see it's into the frame. We can see all the lovely colour at the sides which has run down. And the front, which has got the gorgeous, gorgeous colour on it, and the varnish. Yes. Plus, of course, I've used the new, the new Victorian grills MDF yeah. Medite fretwork lattice fretwork kind of lattice thing. type thing, which are on my website. Mm. So this is a one-off piece. Obviously, you've seen me make it. This will be available on my website in the for the home section. Right. Yes. So first come first served. First come first served. I've really enjoyed doing this, and I think. I should do some more of these, but this hot glue gun thing is, is far too dangerous for me. Well, there is an alternative. You don't have to use hot glue, but it does take a lot longer. Fair enough. <laughs> so we'll make the decision later on. We will indeed. Excellent. So I hope you've enjoyed watching Ian create his very first mixed media canvas. Obviously, there were accidents. <gasps> <laughs> But it's a learning curve, isn't it? It is. So if you have enjoyed watching this, please remember to give the video a thumbs up because it really does help other people find us on YouTube who may not have yet discovered us. Um, don't forget to share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking that button at the end of the video. That's all from us for now. We'll see you all again very, very soon. I'll be back next week. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye for now. Oh, oh poorly hurt your finger. Give up. like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible and don't forget to check out your exclusive angel only content over on my website thank you <laughs>